Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I have been wanting to share my hair routine video with you guys for a long time because you guys have been noticing that my hair has grown so much over the last couple of months. So I'm finally gonna be showing you guys my hair routine in this video. This is my hair, um, also it's a little bit wet because I just took a shower. I obviously didn't wash it, but it got a little bit wet from the shower. But this is me day five of not washing my hair. Yeah, I kind of just, I guess, like trained my hair to not wash it as much. Cause when I was little, I would be like, oh my God, I need to wash my hair every day. Like how do people go multiple days without washing their hair? And dude, now I can go like six, maybe even seven days without washing my hair. So this is me five days of not washing my hair. So what I do before I'm gonna wash it, obviously I kind of like plan out when I'm gonna wash my hair, depending like if it's the weekend, if I have something to do, or if it's just that time. Before I'm gonna wash my hair, what I do is I lather in some oils in my hair and I let that sit in my hair for a couple of hours. The ones I have in stock are these. And whenever I finish these, I always just like go on Amazon, Ulta, Sephora, and I look for hair growth oils, I read the reviews, and I always just try different oils. What I currently have in stock is castor oil and biotin. I got this one at Marshall's. And then, I don't know how to say this, Mayeli, Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I got this one on Amazon. And then I also have the Inky List Caffeine Stimulated Scalp Treatment. I don't do this often, but one of the hair masks I have is a thick hair treatment, and this will make your hair feel so soft. Just literally slip this up in a ponytail or a bun, and I'll just let the oil sit in my hair. I try to leave them on for like a minimum of three hours but sometimes I leave them on overnight. So if I know I wanna wash my hair in the morning, when I wake up, right before I go to sleep, I'll put all these oils on and then just, you know, put my hair up, put a little bonnet on, that way I don't like stain my pillow and then I'll go to sleep and then that way in the morning I can just wash my hair. But today I'll probably wash my hair later on tonight. Today is Friday, so I'll wash my hair tonight. So I have fresh hair for the weekend, but I oiled it in and then I used this like brush to rub it in. And I also have a scalp massager that I'll use right now. And I make sure I massage it in. I just wanna stimulate your follicles so that you can grow more hair. I'll try to find a picture, hopefully I can find a picture of my hair before. Like, I want to say I started this hair growth journey, I want to say like in February, um, and it's currently about to be July, and so many people tell me when they see my hair down that my hair has gotten longer, and I know that I'm having good hair growth because this line used to be so wide, and that's when I was like, girl, I need to work on this hair growth, and now getting like thinner, like smaller. So thinking I'm having a lot of hair growth. Like I said, I do this to like stimulate the hair follicles. I don't know if that actually works or if it's just like in my mind. I mostly put the oils in my scalp, but I also do put it on the ends because your ends are the pieces in your hair that you've had the longest. And guys, a tip, because this is also something that I hated to do. I hated getting haircuts because I wanted my hair long. So obviously like that little length at the bottom of your hair, I'd be like, no, like I don't want to cut it. You know, it makes my hair look kind of long. I would get a haircut, I'd be like, just cut this little piece off. And it's because like I said, like when your hair grows, the bottom of your hair has been on your hair the longest. So it's burnt, it's dry. Like I remember I had a hairstylist and he's like, girl, the ends look like a broom. Not that hurt. But it was true, you know, like I needed for him to tell me that because everyone, all the other hairstylists I had would just be like, okay, you don't want to cut it, that's fine. And him, he was like, girl, we need to cut your hair. Like this hair is crusty, dusty, musty. 
looks like a broom, like it gotta go. But you need to be getting your hair cut, and I promise you guys, getting a trim six to eight weeks will really help your hair grow. And if you're getting them, if you're getting trims regularly, six to eight weeks, you don't have to cut a lot. But obviously, if you wait a long time to get a haircut, you're gonna have to cut more because more damage. Not only does your hair feel healthier after a haircut because they cut off your ends, your dry ends. Now, with a scalp massager, rub it in circles. Another tip, tip number three, use good quality shampoo and conditioner. I saw this, I, I, I don't know if it was a video or an article. You should never buy your shampoo where you buy your groceries. And I was like, Ooh, because my whole life, I'm 25 years old, <laughs> my whole life I did that. I would buy my shampoo and my conditioner when I would go buy groceries. So when I heard that, I was like, another theory I have. When I started using good quality shampoo, I noticed that I didn't have to use dry shampoo anymore. Weird. I don't know if it's because it's good quality shampoo. I currently use Living Proof. Um, and I get the big bottles, like the huge bottles, because it lasts me like months. They are expensive, but there's also the little, the smaller bottles for Living Proof. But correct me if I'm wrong, this is an experience that I had within myself. I didn't have to use dry shampoo anymore. Like, I literally still have the dry shampoo bottle, but I don't remember when was the last time I used dry shampoo. Test that theory yourself, but that is something that has worked for me. Obviously, I got this scalp massager for me, and I put it in the shower because when I wash my hair, because I have all these oils and I let the oils sit in my hair, I like to make sure that I'm really like scrubbing all the oils off. And dude, Danny, when, one time in the shower was like, let me test that. And he did it. And now he uses this in the shower. Like he thinks it feels so good when he washes his hair. Camera overheated while I was talking and while I was about to put my hair up and then I have to like turn it off and I can't use it for like a couple of minutes. But what I did was I slicked back my hair into a little bun and now i'm just gonna go on about my day i put on all the oils around like 12 15 i want to say and yeah i'll just update you guys throughout the day we cleaned up the house a little bit so now we're gonna go eat forgive my sunglasses on a date kind of nervous Oh. I didn't know if I wanted to do a clamato, which is enchilada. I ended up getting a enchilada cubano. And we ordered tacos and a sampler. I feel like it's gonna be bomb. I didn't know what beer to get. Danny's are about civico. sampler a little bit of everything our food came so fast but yeah i got arashara tacos danny got sweet long it came out so fast that we didn't really finish our appetizer i think i had it you're just so we got the chance <laughs> we're gonna do card roulette and she's gonna choose the card that she wants she's coming good morning guys it's currently the next morning i wanted to wash my hair last night like the intention was to wash my hair last night but um i just got too lazy and i didn't feel like blow drying it so another thing that i do is every time i wash my hair i blow it out like i give myself an at-home blowout because or i don't like to stay with my hair wet or let it air dry because i noticed that my hair was always really really dry when i would air dry it or go to sleep with it wet and now ever since i blow it out like i don't know my hair just is so smooth that's another one of my tips is blow drying your hair after you shower because i used to always in my head i used to be like oh i'm not gonna use the blow dryer because then i'm gonna straighten it and that's just me using like heat on heat on my hair and that's just not healthy for your hair but dude tell me why i would do that and my hair was like crusty dusty like a broom so now one of the things i always do is i blow it out and like i said i didn't feel like blowing it out yesterday so i just left it in the bun and now i'm about to shower but 
Before I shower, I want to brush my hair. Now it's all combed out. But let me show you guys what I've been using in my hair before. So this is from The Crown Affair. It's a uh, cleansing scrub for your scalp. Since I leave the oil on, I feel like this really helps clean my scalp. It kind of, I feel like it has mint or something on it because my scalp kind of like, I don't know. I wouldn't say tingles, but I could just tell that my scalp is like cleaner. This is the shampoo that I use. Like I said, Living Proof. This is the reverse damage line from them. I know they have other other ones. But yeah, this is the one I use and I get the big bottles. These big bottles I think are like $50 each. Expensive, but super worth it. They also have the smaller bottles, but this lasts me a really, really, really long time. So time to get in the shower. I Out of the shower, my hair is still a little wet, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some of this. This is a Living Proof Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthening. Now my hair is like a little damp, so I'm gonna put more products on it so that I can blow dry it. So these are the products. That drawer's a mess. These are the products that I've been using. They're all from this brand because I had a credit from them. This is their heat protector. This is their smoothing balm. So I'm pretty sure this is what makes my hair super smooth because I'm telling you guys, my hair be smooth these days. And then this is Thermal Blowout Primer. And then I also do have the Color Wow stuff, but I wanted to finish all this stuff before I continued using my Color Wow. Lather my hair in this. It literally says wait 10 minutes before adding any heat. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast while this sits in my hair. And then once I'm done eating breakfast, we'll come blow it out real quick. So my hair is pretty much dry. Now I'm gonna be using my dry bar blow dry brush. And I'm just gonna be like turning the brush. By the way, I'm gonna put some music so you guys can have aesthetic music because this shit is loud. And you'll, you'll probably see like black lines running across because it's like a lot of, um, voltage energy plugging my charger in and this into my vanity so yeah but just a little fyi but yeah i literally just turn out the brush i keep turning it turning it and then for my layers that's in front of my face i like to blow the br like i like to blow my hair the opposite way so on my usual hair i'm just like this and then on my bangs and stuff i turn it the opposite way if that makes sense. Sorry if it doesn't. <laughs> I'm still learning how to give myself a DIY blow, so don't judge me. Look, this side is the blowed out side. This side is the one that's not blowed out. And just look at how much like smoother and shinier this one looks than the air dried one. So that was my example because at first when my hairstylist was like, you don't want to blow out your hair. I'm like, no, never. I don't want to add heat. She's like, girl, look, like sometimes you just need those bristles to run through your hair. Back to blowing it out. <laughs> If you guys have been debating on like getting a haircut 
For years, I debated on getting like face framing layers because I thought you had to style them every day. I feel like curtain bangs you have to style every day, but like these face framing layers just do it for me. Like, look at how, like, I'm obsessed. Like, I'm literally obsessed. And I'm like so mad at myself that I waited so long to do this. And I actually want to go shorter with the layers right here. But I'm so mad because everybody was like, you're gonna have to style them every day. Dude, I don't really style them every day. But th this is what I needed because I was so bored of my hair and I knew I wasn't gonna dye my hair. So I just needed some face trimming layers and I finally said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And if I don't like it, well, you know what? It's gonna fucking grow back. It's not the end of the world. And I did it and I'm like, why did I wait this long? Second of all, these little straps gotta go. And now for the bangs. Like, do you see how this, like, without it being blow dried, it's like. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do like a light beat after, so let me moisturize my lips. My phone messed up and I had to get it replaced at Apple. And it's Saturday, so I know that the mall is gonna be packed. So I just wanna put light makeup on. Just cause it's Saturday, you know? Like I wanna feel cute. Quick little 10 minute beat. Like literally I'm just gonna put concealer and blush and that's it. I need to clean my brushes today. Like they are so freaking dirty. I was telling you guys on my live that Cash and Millie are Velcro dogs, meaning they're just dogs that always want to be next to you and by you. They're like your little chiclet. What cash? <laughs> And me and Danny always thought that it was just like the way we raised them. But no, some girl uh, did a video and she's like, no, yeah, like these dogs literally are Velcro dogs. Supposedly they have like separation anxiety, but they always just want to be like with their owners. Now that they are older, I want them to try to be like more independent, you know? So I got them a bed. I only got one bed because they don't really like beds. They always like fucked up their beds. But I got them a bed to try to like, like when we're hanging out in the kitchen, like have them like lay in their bed. And sometimes they do, but we have to literally be like, the, the bed is set up in the living room. So now we're mostly like in the kitchen slash living room area. And we have to be like in the living room to, for them to like lay in the bed. But Cash has been the one that's been using it currently in my makeup room and Cash just went to the bed by himself. He's laying there right now. Blending in your concealer with the powder puff has been my shit lately. Like... <laughs> Meanwhile, this one is over here. <laughs> I ordered um, some stuff on Sephora and it came in. So I'm gonna, I wanna use it. Where? Where oh my God. I ordered the Refai primer, which I forgot because I'm literally in a rush right now. And the Patrick Ta blush, which I right, Let's try out this. Ooh, her. It's so the base. And I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I haven't worn lash lash falsies in the longest because I'm I've just been really into the mascara look lately, and I'm just tripping out because I'm like, who is she? See what I mean, guys? I told you this was ten minutes. Like, this she is fast. Okay, now I'm just putting this oil serum from Lange as well. Make sure if you're putting oils, you put a little bit. It's 
time to go. It's my little outfit, little set. It's from uh, Paradise Runway, but try this out. Let me know if it also works for you guys. I hope this helps you guys and see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys.